Egypt has a new president, for now, and thousands of people have crowded into Tahrir Square in celebration. The chief judge of the country's Supreme Constitutional Court, Adli Mansour, has been sworn in as interim president, following the military's removal of Mohamed Morsi from power. Mansour called on the country to stop producing dictatorships and praised the massive street demonstrations. Demonstrators say Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood, from which he hailed, had warped the democratic process. The military has now launched a major crackdown against the Brotherhood, arresting the group's top leader. But Morsi supporters have taken to the streets as well. This is not freedom. They're arresting people without court order. We're back to Mubarak. The Obama administration released a statement acknowledging the legitimate grievances of the Egyptian people, but stopped short of calling the action a military coup. Britain's prime minister went a step further. We never support uh, in countries the intervention uh, by the military, but what, what now needs to happen, what we need to happen now in, in Egypt, is for democracy to flourish and for a genuine democratic transition to take place. The military is in the process of installing a new civilian government until elections can be held. No election date has been set. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.